Greetings Planet Poke, this is Rykomon and today I'm gonna be showcasing a spin-off title that half of you have probably never heard of and the other half wishes they hadn't. This is Pokemon Dash as you can tell from the title. Uh, it was one of the uh, launch titles for the Nintendo DS meant to like pimp it out and like show off the touch screen and basically it was a marketing tool and it did a terrible job of it. It is widely known as uh, the worst Pokemon title period so don't have uh, don't have uh, any hopes for this one. Uh, but I decided to show it off because I had personally never really played through it at all because I just dismissed it as something terrible then it was something terrible anyway Munchlax uh, that's kinda cool because at this point Diamond Pearl wasn't yet out and uh, the only appearance Munchlax had made was as a as a little cameo in uh, in XG I think it was and I'm not sure if he was in the anime yet but uh, that possibly so you know for chan pokemon i guess that was kind of cool but uh, other than that it's it's a pretty crappy game uh it runs on the basic principle of make pikachu run by sliding the stylus on the touch screen and uh, that's about it that's that's all you have for game mechanics uh you have some other some other you know mechanics like you will run slowly through woods because that's what happens when there are lots of trees and whatnot and also sand it makes sense but it's just so tedious i mean who, who likes this who wants to run slow in a in a racing game especially when you don't have any choice uh the idea of racing games is that you have to have skill to avoid you know uh the the pathways that uh that make you go slowly like in Mario Kart where the grass and the sand will make you go slow but here you don't have a choice you just have to run through it so it's more of a, of a button mashing the kind of thing except you're not really mashing buttons you're mashing your touch screen which is not very good so yeah it's not even good for your DS that's that's how crappy this game is honestly the best part of it is these things right here you can interact with the Pikachu there uh, the models ripped straight from Hey You Pikachu, which was also a bit of a crappy game, but it was fun because you can make Pikachu do all sorts of funny things. Not here though. Here he's just a terribly pixelated rat running around. Seriously, look at the graphics on this thing. They're 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 horrible. I I tried my best to make them look as good as I could. You know, putting in the widescreen and everything, even uh, trying to render it in HD, but they're just terrible. Also, you can ride on Lapras, that's a bit pointless, but uh, I don't know, I guess the anime just influencing everything, because that's what it does. Anywho, this is probably the closest this gets to originality. Uh, you have balloons and, uh, and you can like fly, you'll see in a second. Uh, you rub the rise thing, I know that sounds weird. And then apparently the balloons take you up and then you go into a hot air balloon. Also the island's shaped like a Pikachu, cute I know. The damn rat is everywhere. And then you can fall from the sky. This is why I say it's the most enjoyable part of the game. Because you can make Pikachu fall from the sky. What, what better thing could you do uh, rather than, you know, just drop him from like a hundred feet in the air. Uh, also, even though it's uh, not having any such effects right now, you can also uh, make him faint by falling on certain uh, certain hard ground places. You'll see in a second. Also, there's generally a diglet going through that hole. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's, for, uh, it's to slow you down. Uh, now, this was the first time I was playing, so I had no idea what to do. Also, you can like regulate his direction slightly by using the stylus. What else? This game doesn't use a single button on the DS, by the way, just uh, just the touchscreen. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know what exactly to do. I don't know what's the indicator that uh, such and such checkpoint is the one you're supposed to go to right now. I didn't see any, but whatever. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. 
we're never gonna be playing this game again after this quick video. And this video isn't even all that long, just 8 minutes. I don't know if I'll be making any more of this for this channel. Or any channel. I don't wanna play this game ever again. If you wanna see some more, I guess you could uh, like this video. Maybe let me know. Post a comment. By the way, I like the effect I did with the with those interactive screens there. Uh, basically, on the top screen, it tells you uh, what you're supposed to do, and uh, and on the bottom screen, you have an interactive Pikachu. Uh, so basically, I uh, put the top screen on the bottom screen and uh, and use a chroma key to make it look cool and whatnot. Uh, the effect is generally used by me uh, when I'm uh, using the item finder in Pokemon Black. It's a, it's a thing that is still kind of new for me, so I'm not too used to it, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's not talk about that. Uh, the, uh, the, yeah, th there we go. Uh, you can fall on solid ground and make Pikachu faint. And I don't know where ice is. I suppose we'll run into it later if we continue playing the game, god forbid. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. This is uh, this is the end of the tutorial section. Now they're just uh, making you hop around islands. Also, good thing about Munchlax is that he waits for you. And uh, for some reason, even if you're not uh, first, uh, the game just says, hey, you're first. Even the Munchlax reach their first. Uh, now, I didn't know... I, I like the I like the noise he makes when he faints. I didn't know that one balloon alone would uh, make you faint when you fell. So I just popped one because I really could not be bothered to wait. And you pick up the balloons and hopefully go to the last platform we have here. It's it's kind of like a smiley face except it lacks eyes. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, also, the brick road would uh, make you faint if you stepped on it. And you hit the checkpoint and then run! Now, for some reason, I thought I needed the balloons because they gave it to me. And it rose up again, and that was stupid because then Munchlax reached there before me. But I managed to avoid my demise by using the touchscreen. So, there. That was, that was this game. Now, let's never play it again. Yeah, and there, there'll be no Grand Prix on this channel, or any channel, hopefully. So, just uh, abuse Pikachu's face some more, and uh, I'll see you guys next time in some video that does not involve this yellow rat, hopefully.